The aimless trigger. Yeah. Oh. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? How could yes. someone like you it's cause the destruction over. of our world? What are you <laughs> is this a joke? This is what my manager told me to do? Uh, oh. hmm. Sonic is a real wuss in this game. Wait. Yeah. The aimless trigger. <laughs> Don't you dare oh, turn your Sonic, don't let this. Me. Don't let him push her around, man. Don't <laughs> turn your back on me. Amy? He's so weak that he way, has Amy. to let Amy this is my him. mission. That's pretty depressing. Yeah. Sonic's man points just kind of depleted from. Well, about 10 from this. Thanks, this the end of this game to like. A f yeah, five he's now. Handed in, handed in all of his man cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His man ID just—he had to give yeah, back. Yeah, especially since he's getting his ass kicked the by the dumbass Hedgehog Silver. Mm hmm. And Sonic's like, "Good luck with this murderer guy." He's responsible <laughs> for destroying my world. I don't care about Amy's well-being at all. Sonic would she could, she could Gotta have save Elise. <laughs> but it's true. In the near future, his actions will cause the devastation of my world. So I must. No. What about this devastation of his world? Even no, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Oh, what, what, what a crazy uh, bitch. That's not romantic, IP. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bit crazy. Yeah, that's a bit selfish. You know, like, Sonic is the best person in the world, like... Sure, he's a hero and all that, but, uh... <laughs> if you ask a few people, he hasn't had the best games recently. Sitting on the dock of the bay... Yeah, he's had one <laughs> okay game recently. Mm -hmm. so this is where you well, how it was was Sonic Colors was amazing. Generations up to that even more. Then Lost World kind of made people think, oh, uh, uh, uh when it's Sonic bad. Coming out. Well, uh, <laughs> well uh, you, uh, uh, Jeff, you watch Hellfire all the time. Well, not all the time, I bet, but you watch Hellfire. Um. I think Gareth, uh, he even said himself on the Brain Scratch playthrough of Lost World, he said that he returned his copy before he even beat the game. And he didn't even do that with 06. That's how much he hates Lost World. Yeah, I, I don't think Tom's played it yet. I think he's played the 3DS version. Yeah. <laughs> with the 20 minute long levels. Even, yeah, I think that game's even worse than 06. Probably. In my books. Since he's after Dr. Eggman, let's sneak into Eggman's base. Maybe we'll learn something new. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, powered up time. Gotta get them power ups. Yeah. Is this a shockwave move? <laughs> oh, by the way. Don't buy all of them. No. You just. Uh, this. I probably should have said, maybe don't buy the single layered extreme just because. It's probably the only power up I never buy just because it's a bad power up. I was thinking well, it makes you fire everything at once at one guy, but it ends up making everything hit each hit uh, all the things colliding into each other. Oh, I had that happen. I didn't know. I just buy everything and not even pay attention. I I, di I didn't even uh, know that's what it did. Yeah, the single layered extreme just shoots everything at one thing. At, well, it, not at one thing, but it aims at all those enemies and shoots it all at once. But if you're aiming at only one em enemy, they're all going to collide into each other and just destroy themselves. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I've had that problem a few times. I didn't know it was that, though. Yeah. Well, it doesn't make everything not hit each other, but it, it prevents it as it, it prevents it a bit more. And I accidentally skipped this on my playthrough, so rem good job remembering to put this in. This is Eggman's room, by the way. Yeah, I, that's actually the first time I saw it, like, ever. Like, I haven't seen it in any other playthrough, and I just stumbled across Man's the face is ahead. Let's hurry. Really? Yeah. I didn't mm. know it was It's pretty creepy. Yeah, it's like, why was it's such a weird place to just have, like, Eggman's little room, like, in a weird hallway with lasers in the middle of a town, and I trying to destroy his and... 
And he kind of, kind of, he kind of leaves it wide open too. Yeah, he can block it. So, um, for the love of Elise, um, there's three guys in the competition. There is the Accordion Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Eggman. Accordion Man will win. <laughs> Most definitely, he's got the musical skills. Yeah. And uh, th th this this uh, this level is somewhat more enjoyable because uh, Blaze does it without the board. Yeah. yeah. Although Blaze cannot stop running. Oh, and watch it! Yeah, and watch section. it for the snowball. Sonic's trapped inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Frozen Factory. Uh, actually, it sort of is Frozen Factory. It's sort of snow and industrial together. Mhm. Mm oh, do you, do you get? Uh, oh. The rubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. What? Oh, you almost died. Oh. That took longer than it should have. Hey, did you guys hear they got rid of Brian off of Family Guy? Uh, yes. Well, you know, you'll probably be back after a while. I expected him to be back in the latest episode, but no, I think they're keeping Vinny. Eh. Which, to be honest, he's a pretty boring character. I I don't think you watch Family Guy much anymore, do you, Jeff? Though. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't mind the idea of it. I just I guess I just haven't got round to round to it. It's the episode where Brian dies. It's it's man itself. Like it's not sad because. It's Family Guy. Um, why would you feel sad for any of them? Uh, are you are you talking about the fact that they are really unlikable characters? They're dicks, pretty much. That's what I mean. They're assholes all the time. So yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> nice. I kind of never really felt bad. That's a nice move there, George. Mhm. Lasers are for people who can't fly. Or all complete over in small sections. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? What? Why that? Why is the box just randomly exploding? Uh, I think that's really good for mm -hmm. Actually, this doesn't look like a bad uh, section for Silver to go for it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it This level is actually not that bad as silver. Uh, now, do you, do you use the like, shockwave move a lot, Josh? Yeah. No, I was, I was gonna say because, uh, because essentially, if if you stun an enemy, and silver picks him up, he he's dead instantly. Yeah. So. I like the music here. I didn't get to comment that on. Um the Sonic playthrough because I didn't really have the audio playing through my headphones but it, I like it it actually sounds a lot it, it sounds really good yeah a lot of the Sonic 06 sounds really good I think it's like my second favorite Sonic track mm -hmm. you got them skills you beat the level in just under 4 minutes Yep. Oh Probably yeah. The shortest level in Silver Story besides that Blaze only one. Ah, oh, but you didn't get the S rank. You're a disappointment, J Jeff. You better have gotten the S rank. <laughs> I don't get money, many. You probably got it on this level. This level is one of the easier levels to S rank. Like it's the Egg Genesis. Thing. I just remembered that. Yep. It's kind of a weird boss fight for Silver. Mhm. Mm you guys already know where his weakness is, oh, no. so... Yeah, I... I have trouble on this boss fight. I don't blame you, he's hard as silver. As Sonic, he's easy, easy though, but that's just because I cheated. Yeah, and, and 
uh, also that layer bracelet you item or whatever that you were talking about really screws me over in this level. But at the time, course, single layered extreme. Yeah, single layered yeah. Extreme. Of course, I didn't know it was single layered extreme until now, but. Uh, yeah. I was thinking that the single layered extreme sounds like a type of condom. <laughs> Yeah, actually does. That's pretty. That actually does. Yeah, that's weird. Extreme for her pleasure. <laughs> yeah. uh, this boss does take me a long time as well. By the few times I played it. Well, you know those condom commercials where they like say like basically it's like it's like you're not even wearing a condom. I just imagine Ned Flanders just saying. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. And now, this is basically how you're supposed to get up there as Sonic. The enemies will spawn and you just homing attack up there. You know, I do, I do wonder if that's possible with silver. If, like, if you shot no. away from it, well, actually. I think how you could do it is if you, uh. Play building blocks. Jumped up enough on there. Like, yeah, with the blocks. And then wait until he shoots the bullets at you and then hit them back at him. Let's this. Yeah. Well, no, I would wonder if his shockwave move would actually damage him. <laughs> I uh, doubt it. Yeah, you probably would be stuck there. Mm -hmm. And Silver would probably glitch too because he's not meant to take that flight pattern. Actually, no, you'd probably just stay up there. Because the flight, uh, the flyback pattern is supposed to be only for Sonic. Huh. Okay. Isn't this the same moment in the game as uh, Silver and Ru uh, Shadow and Rouge's fight, or am I th cur um, wrong? Uh, I'd say possibly no. I think Shadow and Rouge okay. have left this area at this point. Okay. Yeah. I'm j no wait no yeah 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 I think you're right. No, it's before this is before then, because um silver, sh uh, not silver, shadow and rouge are in the future at this point. Stop. Which kind of makes no sense because it's the future. They could just go back to this specific point in time, but whatever. Like, if you try to organize yeah. levels in terms of, uh, time, with, with that in mind, it's really hard. <laughs> it's impossible, because the way they set it up is just glitchy. It makes it so that there's pretty much, like, two Sonics in the world at that point, too. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, because you'd have to start, like, the beginning of Silver Story, like, after, like, a bunch of events, because you started in the future. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to put together Sonic 06's story is just kind of impossible. Yep. Which is why Johnny's review took more than half an hour to explain the story, and the rest of the v the review was uh, gameplay. And stuff. Yeah. It was 50 minutes, and 30 minutes of it was just him trying to put together the story and that sort of arc that Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 would do. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Silver can barely get him. I think you. I think you. Oh, really? I never actually dodged that before. Does that say 428 or 420? Because that'd be funny if Silver's just got 420. Just because of his hair. Yeah. <laughs>